and I'm gonna make some changes on my kayak this morning. And if you remember, I'd mentioned that I put this bulkhead on the, I want this front side should have been lined up with my line down here and I lined it up on the back side. I just had one of those brain farts when I put it in. And what's that's, what that's done, the blue line under here is the pretty much the widest point of the boat right in here. So it's got me sitting right over the widest point. But when I stand up, I notice in the video, and also when I stood up, when I stand up up here, that puts the front of the boat down lower in the water. And it's not that I stand up that much, it's just the idea of it. And I just went out and looked at my Hobie. And the widest stand-up area, uh, the stand-up area is the widest part of the boat. So if I had to move this back like it was before, that would have put me pretty much close on it. So I'm going to take my reciprocating saw. And I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to move it back about two or three inches. Because I'm not that concerned about how much area I have back here anyway. Like I said, it's just a pond fishing boat. I'm not going anywhere distance. I'm just going to put me a rack across here to put my rods right in, hold them upright. And uh, so that's not a problem. But that'll put my, my weight when I'm sitting a little couple of inches, about three inches back maybe. And that should work pretty good. Because there's not quite as much flotation in the front. So when I stand up, that's not going to throw the bow down as much. So I'm going to do that before I do anything else. Before I start shaping the top and uh, building my cover to go over the battery. I'm going to leave this open. I was going to close it in, but I said, well, it's not really any use. I don't need the dry storage. And if on down the road I decide to use it for something else and want to put dry storage, it's you know, a piece of cake to do it. Just cut me some more foam and glue it on and sand it and paint it. You never know the difference. So I'm going to do that. And leaving it open, it'll make it easy for my control, my wires and what have you to come through from my steering. I was going to put the kayak pedals in here to do the push-pull type deal. But I think what I'm going to do is like my airplanes had. I'm just going to put me a rudder, rudder pedals in here and bring them down, tie it, and just do it. It works the same way with the pedals, only instead of moving your feet horizontally, you just tilting them like this and have them sitting right in here. I was just sitting out there on the ground and that looked like it worked pretty good. I'm going to try that. And uh, if it doesn't work, I can always change it. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make me a little platform and just glue it in here with my two rudder pedals. Bring my cables down the top side, hook to it. And then bam, bam, there you go. Simple, easy. And I can make it here in my shop. Won't have to spend any money, so that's good. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. After I move all this, I turn it back on and show you how much I mess up. But let me get that done. All right, here's a little update. Been slow going today because everything I had to do was sand and glue, sand and glue. I moved this bulkhead from right here and moved it back here so that the front of my seat will be just behind the wide center point here, a wide point, whatever you want to call it. I think that'll be better because I noticed in my video and somebody made a comment about the bow going down when I stood up. And I noticed when I stood up it, the bow went down so I moved it back a little bit and uh, I've been sanding and got everything rounded over on the sides. Uh, got the little thin plywood here on the inside and a, a length here just the size of the cockpit area got it rounded off and let's see what else we got here this side here I just just glued it up a little while ago and uh, fill in a few little old cracks with some Lightweight putty spackling or whatever you call it. 
and this is the battery compartment. I really don't like having this up here, but the only way to have the battery covered and make it easy for me to get in, I need to have a flat cover here so I can step into the boat from the pond at the house the way it's laid out. It makes it easier. So here on the floor, I got some three quarter styrofoam. I ran out of the two inch styrofoam. I didn't have anything left over big enough to cover this opening. And uh, so I went and bought, a, bought another sheet and uh, cut it in half there. And I got some screen wire uh, gorilla glued in between the two pieces. And I'm gonna do another wire on the top and the bottom to give it some rigidity as I paint it on. And that's what I'm gonna make my lid out of. Make me a little, little hinge on this end so it'll open up this way. And if I'm going down the road in the highway, it won't, it won't blow open, hopefully. And I'm gonna have a bungee on it also. So tomorrow morning I'm gonna come out and I'll sand this side and finish sanding just the cockpit area over there. And do the cockpit area over here. And then I'm gonna start putting a cloth on the top side here. And then the footwell maybe. See if we can't get this burger. I went and bought some paint today. And I went to Sherwin Williams. They had a 35% off sale for what good that does. And uh, the wife's all about a sale, and she said that's where the sale was, so that's where I went. I think if we have gone Lowe's or somewhere else and got it cheaper, probably it's $45, but it wasn't the cheapest grade. It was a, a mid-grade uh, gloss yellow, bright yellow, brightest yellow they had. So I'm going to see how that looks. You know, it'll be baby poop ugly or look pretty good. I don't know. We'll find out. If it looks really ugly, uh, I'll make some nice spray paint and I'll just paint over it. <laughs> See how that goes. Alright, that's it for today. This is uh, episode 6. Hopefully tomorrow it'll be looking good.